Hey guys, I'm coming here today from uh, Panther Creek State Park in Morristown, Tennessee. I um, thought I'd put together a real quick park review. Uh, I'll go over some of the details of the park and then uh, towards the end of this, uh, if you've watched my previous Warriors Path uh, review, I'll, I'll throw some pictures together kind of the same way at the end just to kind of show you some of the some of the stuff around the area here. Um, but so far, very, very great park. Uh, it's been very pretty, um, very open here as well. So that's the that's the other thing. Uh, as compared to Warriors, there's a lot of open fields for the dogs to run in and stuff. They've really enjoyed it. And there's a dog park about eh, 15 minutes away from here. So we're planning on taking them to that and uh, you know let them enjoy that as well. But uh, but either way, I just wanted to talk about the park, uh, talk about some of the amenities, and talk about the setup of it and so forth. And then I will, uh, you know, look for your feedback comments below, and we'll go from there. So the first thing I'll talk about, and you'll see me looking down. I'm looking at my notes, um, but this is a 1,435-acre park, so it is a pretty massive park. Um, there is, uh, it is pretty spread out across here, and we'll talk about that in a few minutes. But you know. Um, the campground is maybe a little bit smaller, but there's a whole lot of parks. I think, um, you know, there's limited spaces here at the campground, so it does fill up pretty quickly and everything, but we'll get into that as well. Um, but the park does offer 17 hiking trails at just over 30 miles worth of trails to be hiked. So plenty of hiking. I've done a few of them so far. I will try to show a picture of a few of them. Um, and very nice trails, very well cut and defined trails. Um, they've got them that range from easy all the way up to difficult and so far i've, I've kind of done the easies and to the middles um all the stuff that i've been on but all of them are not not too bad that i've seen so far but uh really cool trails um the trails cut across the whole park so you can just about get to everywhere and and i've actually got some overlooks and stuff that you can go to and you get some really nice views from there and i will show you some pictures from that as well um this park is located, it's kind of nestled in between the Cumberland Mountains and Cherokee Lake. So you've got mountains and lakes both here. Uh, you can get to the water, although typically from what I've seen so far, um, you've got to go down some trails and stuff in order to be able to access the water. There's no none of the campsites or any kind of water frontage or anything like that. But, but still really nice campsites, fairly level. You have to do a little bit of leveling in most of them, but but pretty good and level. So no, no complaints there. Um, and then, uh, you know, the, the positive for us that I always kind of look at as a place we're going to camp at is this is a very pet friendly place. Um, and as you'll see, they've got, uh, you know, some horse trails here and I'll talk about that in a minute. But I mean, they're even up enough to horses, you know, they've got horse dedicated trails and so forth here as well. So I think that's really cool how open they are to pets here. Um, a lot of dogs running around, so, you know, I imagine there's cats in people's RVs and stuff. I haven't seen anybody walking a cat, although I know some people do. Um, but, you know, just wanted to make sure to say, you know, this is a very pet-friendly place. So, so I thought that was very good. And so far, it seems like all the state parks in Tennessee are that way. So that is a definite plus. Um, <clears throat> the price of this is, it ranges between $25 and $35 a night, depending on what you get. Um, they do have 30 and 50 amp hookups at their site, so that is a huge plus. Uh, I know my past when I said Warriors only had 30, but we actually did find a few that had 50, but it is very limited. Um, there is water at all sites, and it appears that there is no sewer, but there is a dump station that you can go to. There's only one dump station in this park, um, but it's so small you really only need one. And I've, I think I've only seen one person use it now in the three days that we've been here. So. So that's not too bad, but uh, there's a dump station right at the head of the park that you can use and the trash cans and so forth are right at the head of the park as well. So we're kind of at the back, so it is a little bit of a hike for us to be able to take our trash, but again, not too bad. Um, you know, it maybe takes 10 minutes to get down there and back. So, you know, a little bit of uh, daytime exercise to take out trash. Um, they, uh, they do have, so there is 50 total sites here. So I stated, you know, it's a lot smaller than Warriors. Um, I think there, there was 120, 130 some sites. So, so, you know, a lot less than half. They do have a few set up for big rigs. There's actually a big rig just over here from us. Um, it's a 42 foot class ARV and it is massive, very nice rig. Um, but they do have a few spots in here for big rigs, but that is very limited. I will say that. I mean, they, most of these spots are for probably 30 feet and under, and then they have some tent sites as well. But um, for the most part, I mean, I would have to say there's less than five 
probably five spots that could accommodate anything over 32 to 35 feet, you know. Um, but they do have some, so that, that's a positive that they're able to get people in. And um, as far as bathroom facilities and shower facilities, uh, I give them an A plus on that. Their bathroom and shower facilities are amazing here. Um, that is something that we've been very impressed with. And also, uh, something that I have not seen at state parks prior to this uh, for Tennessee is they have a laundromat here. So each, each bathhouse has its own laundry room in it that you can use. And I think from what it looks like, there's maybe one or two washers and one or two dryers in each one. So they're very small, but you know, hey, at least they offer it. And that is not something that we have seen a lot of in the state parks yet here. So, so a definite plus for this place. Um, every site does have a fire ring and every site has a concrete picnic table which is actually where i'm filming this from right now so and as you can see it's kind of they, they do try to keep them back in the shade or whatever um so the whole park kind of borders around woods but there's not a lot of woods you know in the camping spots and i, and I will talk about that in a few minutes but you know but they uh there is a lot of you know picnic areas and they do tend to keep them in the shade and you you know got a burn ring in each one that tends to be closer to the rv itself or the or the campsite um there is a camp store that you can get basic supplies as you need here it is kind of a smaller camp store and they do have a visitor center but i've not been to that yet but uh but for the most part the uh the camp store is pretty small but it does have most of the basic supplies so not not too big of a deal um they've got wi-fi that is available for free um but it is data limited and i've tried it and it does tend to be very slow luckily here i've got the togo device and i've got my verizon my fi hotspot and we'll talk more about those here in a minute too because they're kind of limited so you got to watch where you go to um, in here but uh, they do have an upgraded internet service that you can buy i didn't look at that i mean it, it don't look to be super expensive i don't know how much more data or how much more speeds you get out of it but they do have an upgraded service that you can buy um, it does have a swimming pool when the swimming pool is open right now it's out of season so um, in tennessee that seems like the motto is after labor day close all the pools uh, <laughs> You know, with it with it still being almost 100 degrees, I wish they would have left them open longer. But here nor there, it is uh, it is closed now. But it does appear to be a very nice pool. Um, has diving boards and so forth. Uh, they do not have that at Warriors, um, to my recollection. They don't have that at Warriors. So let me let me put an emphasis on that. I'm not 100% sure, but the best I can remember, they've never had that. But here they do. Um, it's a huge pool. It actually looks to be bigger than Warriors, and they've got a pretty nice kids section in their pool. So. And I'll try to snap some pictures of that. It's empty, but I'll tr try to snap some pictures to show you what it looks like. But the pool would be fun. You know, I would like to have been here when it was open and, and tinkered with that some. Um, and again, they do have a nice visitor center. It looks to be, you know, really big. I haven't been to it yet, but I am planning on going today. And I will get some pictures from inside of there to also include in the montage at the end here. And um, in... As a bonus, and this is something that we did not experience at Warriors, but it's good here, the campsites are spread out pretty well. Um, so, you know, nobody's right on top of each other. That I really enjoyed. You do have a little bit of sense of privacy. We've got the one RV that's directly in front of us, and they're probably 10, 15 feet away, but then after that, there's nobody else. I mean, it's uh, it's pretty good and spread out, so I was uh, real happy about that. Um, they've got the park laid out really well. It's limited site, so I guess it gives them more room to work with. Um, and then, so a couple of the negative things I was going to talk about is the Verizon and the AT&T data. Uh, we are at the top of the campsite, so we do get pretty good signal. And my Togo, let me say that, my Togo is working perfect here. So love that. That has been uh, probably one of the better upgrades that I've done so far. Um, if you haven't seen that video, you can check it out. But I've done a video on the Togo and style and got some links to be able to go buy it. Um, awesome. Has been great. Um, but other than that, I am getting Verizon bars up here, and I do get AT&T data. But the, once you kind of go down towards uh, the bottom of the park, or you move on down, just it kind of is in a gully, and I'm up high above it. So here I get signal, but the once you move down, you do not. Um, I've tried that. I've actually had people tell me that, and I went down and tested it myself, and they are correct. You get no signal. But I'm going to put up a picture of the campground, of how the campground here itself is laid out. There's going to be a park picture, then a campground picture. And if you look up in the right-hand corner, I have highlighted to where the uh, best Wi-Fi spots are that you will at least get some signal. And there may be others, and you can maybe have a booster and get a little bit more signal. Um, that might help. Uh, but with my booster, I will tell you, it, it uh, you know, just tinkering around and trying it, it didn't work very well. So, 
um, all that being said, you know, just giving that out, but I have kind of highlighted to where the best areas are to get internet here, and, and it is a select few sites if you're on AT&T or Verizon. I've got both, so I was able to test both. Um, so I wanted to get that out there, and, you know, a kind of a positive and a negative is the park is very spread out, so there are several things here that, while they're very cool, you about have to drive to it, and I'm not saying you couldn't walk to it, but it would be... A pretty long walk and and like to go to the main overlook is a it will probably be about a six or seven mile walk and it's up a hill so you're actually going to the top of a mountain and overlooking down to the lake um so you know i'm not saying it couldn't be done but it, it would be a hard walk uh you know i actually have thought about trying that but you know for a lot of people that's just not an option um so you know i wanted to say that you know it is kind of spread out so be prepared to walk or drive to get to where you want to but the uh um, the last, I guess, kind of negative thing I was going to say, while I was saying the picnic tables and the fire rings do tend to be shaded, the RV sites are really not shaded very well. They, uh, the one we listed got partial shade uh, as a listing, and that's sort of true, sort of not. Um, but, you know, again, we, we've had temperatures here in the mid-90s, almost up to 100 degrees, and we get enough sun at the hottest part of the day that it is hard to keep the RV cool. So... I will suggest that, you know, uh, hopefully the temperatures will come down some, and that's really not the park's fault, it's just the way the park's laid out, but, you know, there's not enough shade that it helps keep the RV cool, and the AC does have a hard time keeping up, so, you know, just wanted to make sure that, that I laid that out there, you know, um, and there is a few sites in here that do have good shade, but they are far and few between, so uh, be prepared for that, you know, be prepared for more direct sunlight. Um, but other than that, you know, I will say the area around it, we did go around and check out Morristown yesterday, and there is a lot here. There's a Walmart within probably two to three miles from here, so, you know, you've got your, got your main services, several gas stations, restaurants, you know, chain restaurants, uh, hometown restaurants, and so forth. Um, all that stuff is real close by, so, you know, you will have no trouble finding what you need if you do need to leave the park. And they have a dog park away from here. That was really cool. They've got a, a zoo that you can go pet animals and actually interact with them. Um, we're going to go check that out Saturday. I'll try to get some video of that and show you how that is. But that's really cool. They've got a couple of haunted houses here we're going to go check out. And um, being in this area, you're probably not 45 minutes outside of Pigeon Forge, Gatlinburg area. So you could be there. You're not maybe 45 minutes outside of Knoxville. You could be there. So you are right in the center of everything. Um, so really cool area, like I say, a lot to do. But to finish up this video, um, I will just show pictures, kind of show you the park. It's so spread out that it wouldn't do well for me to try to film it all and make this a two hour video. So, so I will take some of the highlight pictures, show you what all it has to offer. But I would highly recommend this park. I mean, for the money, you can't beat it. Um, you know, they again, it's the Tennessee State Park, so they have the same discounts as Warriors. You got your senior citizens discount if you're over 50, uh, military discount if you've had any military service. And if you have, thank you very much. Uh, you know, I, I, I'm a big military guy. I'm an Army brat myself. I was born in Fort Knox, uh, and my, my dad was a service member. And I wish I could have been, but for medical reasons, I was not able to. Um, but here nor there, uh, that's, a, that's a whole other story. Um, but, you know, just uh, will say I highly suggest the park to everybody, and I will show a video montage or a, a picture montage just to kind of show you what all is here and how everything looks. But highly recommend this park. It is awesome. Um, the people I've spoken to here, again, it's the RV community. They're all awesome, too. So, you know, that's just uh, pretty much a given in the RV community that everybody's really easy to talk to and easy going. Um, but with all that said, I appreciate you watching. Please uh, subscribe if you like the video. Give it a thumbs up to help other people see it. And I invite you to come and check out Panther Creek State Park and all Tennessee State Parks. And if you happen to be in the area and you want to look us up, um, we are here. Um, I can't. I think we're in, we're in Site 31. So I invite you to stop by. We'll be here for about another 10 days or so. Um, and then we're heading back to Warriors to spend time with family and do Halloween stuff before we start our trip uh, our, our long trip down toward Florida. <laughs> um, but I appreciate y'all. Thank you. And we will talk to you later. Bye-bye. This is an overview of the whole park. This is an overview of the campground with the best Wi-Fi spots highlighted.
doors are closed Find me outside by the coast It's what I love the most What gives me comfort Keep my feet on the ground by the water I wish my life could be like this always You got me high on life With uncomplicated love Yeah, you show me your endless charm Stand there with open arms Stand there with open arms When the rain falls down You are the lifeline If I drown Sun melts the ice Yeah, you make me come alive Keep my feet on the ground by the water I wish my life could be like this always You got me high on life With uncomplicated love Yeah, you show me your end